Welcome everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any videos, but this week we put out a new database release. It's called Oracle Database 23C Free and the developer release. It is the first look that you can have at our new long-term release for the database 23C. It's completely free. Uh, it's great for uh, development and testing purposes. It's really nice for developers to get a head start on taking advantage of new features we've been putting into the database for the applications you want to build and put out over the next few years. And to help you get started, we've given you a few things to make it much easier. There's, of course, a um, container image that you can use uh, if you're a fan of things like Docker or Podman. There's also a VirtualBox image. So that's what I'm going to take you through on a quick tour of today. So this allows you to download a pretty big file, plug it into something called VirtualBox, which is also completely free, hit a start button, and then you've got a full working um, Linux uh, virtual machine with Oracle Database 23C installed on it. And not only that, we've given you a bunch of free sample data pre-configured and all of our software is on there good to go. So I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet. So it's just really easy for someone to onboard to both a 23C developer free release, but also using our VirtualBox appliance. So I'm going to start off on the web page here where you go to download the appliance and that link will be in the video description. Once you're there, you do not need to create an account or anything. Um, you can simply just click the download button. So we have a brief overview of what's on the machine. So of course the database itself is on there. All of the interfaces for building and creating apps are on there. I've got a couple of links of um, interest. So this one's huge. This is where you can go read about the new features, copy and paste the sample code and try it out. Um, and also we have a discussion forum where people can share feedback on what they found or if they have any questions. Since this is a free resource, there's no My Oracle support included, but we have a vibrant community and a lot of us on the database team are helping out on the forums to figure out what people really like or maybe having some questions on in 23C free developer release. So this is the big file that we're going to download. It's just shy of seven gigs. Once I click on this, it's going to start the download and eventually it's going to end up here in my downloads folder. Now to do anything with this, you need a, a VM player, so to speak. So the free open source thing Oracle has is called VirtualBox. I've been using this for at least 10 years. Now I've already imported this appliance, but I will show you what this looks like. When you download VirtualBox and install it over here on everything over here on the left is going to be completely empty. You won't have anything. All you need to do is say file import appliance. You're going to browse to that downloads folder. You're going to pick that OVA file and you're going to click open and you're going to say next. Here's where you get to review stuff. So I could change the name of the VM. Um, I could change the amount of memory allocated to the VM. Now we're taking four gigs of RAM from your host machine to use for the Linux um, machine that's going to pop up when we click start. A couple of other things we're doing. Um, we're giving you oh, about 20 gigabytes of disk space. These are going to be written to these files, which are going to be put into this folder on your machine. So this is a chance for you to change these things if you don't like. Um, but generally, you, could, you should just be able to click the import button here. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, and it's going to take about 10 minutes depending on how fast your machine can write these files. Once it's in here, you'll have the one box or the one appliance, and you can again go over here to settings and just see how it's been set up so you can see things like the storage, you can see the disks, how much... How much space they've been given virtually and how much they're actually taking on your machine. Uh, if you're a little um, tight on memory, uh, you can power that down or if you've got a really nice developer rig with 32 gigs of RAM, you could bump this up to 8 if you wanted to go crazy. But again, most of the stuff should be good out of the box. So I'm going to close everything but VirtualBox and I'm going to click the start button. And I am not going to cut this for length. 
I'm just going to show you how long it actually takes on my Dell uh, laptop to start this up. Now I'm running a slightly older version of VirtualBox. You might want to go get the newest version, but in general it's going to look about the same. I'm going to maximize this window. I'm going to exit out a couple of the warnings. And here we're literally seeing a Linux boot screen. Once this is up and running, I'm going to be able to start working immediately with the database running on this machine. Or, um, if I'd like, I can play um, with the Linux uh, image. I can use the Linux desktop. I can open up a Linux um, prompt. I can use the tools on the Linux machine. Or I can use the software that is on my actual Windows host to connect to the database that's running on the VM. So by that I mean on my host machine, I can get ready for this to be open. I can come over to my SQL CL. Folder, and I can do something like this SQL CR Oracle Oracle Host 1521 ORCL 31. So the machine is almost up. What we've done with this virtual machine is we've created something called a port forward. Oh, this is important. So there's an Oracle user on the Linux machine, it's set to auto login. So you don't even have to log in. It'll it'll just come in for you. Um, and then when it's up, we should get the um, the desktop here in the, the image. Yep. So here's the base terminal. But for the terminal, this is the welcome message. And there's important information here. One, we have the Oracle database free developer. Um, description of what you're getting. But here's the important information. So the names of the databases. So with the multi-tenant architecture that 23C uses, there's something called a container database. That database is called free. Then you have one or more pluggable databases. The pluggable database we've created is called free PDB1. All passwords on the box are Oracle. Now, this is not great for security, but it's really great for learning, and I don't have to tell you what all the different passwords are on the machine. The port forwards, any activity on network port 1521 from your host machine is automatically forward to port 1521 on this Linux box. So that's really nice. So I can come back. and we're off and running. So if I want to immediately try something that's brand new in 23C free developer, I could say select one and run that. And there's no from dual here. That's no longer necessary. Now, some people have worried, hey, does that mean dual's gone away? Absolutely not. So your old code will still work. So I can say select one date below 23C from dual and I still get that but I can run the same thing without the from dual it's a control R to send that to the buffer and the same thing works so that's great now let's go back to the actual VM so here on the Linux machine I'm in this prompt and there's some more information here if I want to connect to the database I can simply do this I can do the exact same thing I could do the SQL plus style if I wanted to And I'm in the database, and I could do select star from um, departments. And there's my departments data. So that's all set up. What we also give you on this box is a web server that runs some really cool stuff. So let me show you that. I can do this from the host machine or I can do it from the Linux VM. I'm going to do it from the host machine. So I'm going to go to localhost port 8080 and then it's ORDS and then SQL-Developer. I'm going to log in 
as HR in the password as Oracle, and I now get a web interface for working with this database. So I don't have to use a command line if I don't want. I don't have to go download and install uh, Java or any other GUIs to go do stuff. I can go immediately to a SQL worksheet and I can run some queries. So I've used this before, so I can run some queries that I've already ran. I can get an explain plan. Um, but there's more than just a SQL worksheet in here. So I've got a thing called data modeler. So we've given you a bunch of sample schemas on here. If you want to know what those look like, I can browse to a schema like SH, which stands for sales history. I can select all these tables, right click and say add object to diagram. And it'll reverse engineer the dictionary and print for me a nice relational diagram and show me how these tables are related to each other or how they're not. So I can see sales tables pretty, pretty well connected. Down here, I've got some disconnected things that are just kind of off on their own. And if I wanted to, I could even click on a table and generate the DDL for that object. So here's the DDL for my table. Now, uh, if you're an Application Express or Apex developer, we can uh, use that as well. So I'll just sign out of SQL Developer Web. And from the prompt, instead of going to uh, localhost 8080 slash ords, I can go to localhost 8080 slash ords slash apex, and that'll bring me to the apex sign-in. So I can get going there. Um, finally, I'm also the product manager for SQL Developer here at Oracle, so let me show you how to connect using that tool. So I'm going to have a connection called HR23C free. I'm going to come to my properties. Here we can see localhost 1521 free PDB1 HR. I'm connected. I can now do stuff in the schema. Now, I said all of the accounts are Oracle. So I could create an account uh, to, uh, for example, sys or system. So I've got a connection here called system 23 C free. And it's going to free PDB one, but instead let's make that just free PDB. So that's the container instance. I'm going to save this. And then on my DBA panel, I'm going to open up I'm going to actually add that connection. Yeah, so it's 23C free system. Okay. So I'm going to open that up. I can see uh, my list of instances in this container. I've got just the one PDB. Uh, if I want to see how this thing is running, we've got something called the instance viewer I can open. I can see what my most expensive uh, query statements are. I could drill down into my wait events. Let's show you how to do one more thing. Someone asked, how do we connect to the um, container database using SQL plus and using slash as sysdba. So if I do this, it's not working. And the reason it's not working is because this is set up to go immediately to the pluggable database and not the container. And what I need to do is just this unset to task. But first let's echo to task so we can see what it's set to. That's set to the name of the pluggable database. So if I unset to task and now do SQL plus, I'm in, I'm in the container. I'm in the container as sys, which is the most powerful user. So you want to be very careful. We've built a new command line interface. It's called SQL CL. That's what I think you should use instead. So instead you can do SQL and we're back in. 
And one of the reasons I think you should use this over SQL Plus is we've just built so much more, you know, support into it, like modern stuff, like a, a working editor. And I can, I can arrow around stuff. I get tab completion. I get highlighting. I'll turn that on. There's just more commands. Lots of really cool commands. And if you just type help and run that, we'll show you the command list. Like history is built in. I can see everything I've ever ran in here. This will fail because I'm not in the container. Maybe the nicest thing is automatic formatting. So I can say select star from um, And it does its best to print it nicely to the screen. So it's not taking more space than it needs. Um, whereas if I did the same thing in SQL Plus, it would just wrap all over like crazy. All right, everyone, that's a basic introduction to the VirtualBox and our appliance for Oracle Database 23C free developer release. If you have any questions, go over to the forums. How do I find the forums? On the download page of the VM, there's a link here. Follow that. You will need an account to post to the forums. Uh, search to see if your question's already been answered. If not, post a new one, and uh, someone in the community will uh, reach out. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week.